Some people just love winter sports. And then there's Steve McNeil. The Toronto hockey coach is preparing for a marathon skating session this weekend. Our health reporter Pauline Chan tells us it's all for a good cause. It was a good day for first-time skaters at Nathan Phillips Square. Chloe the puppy in owner Lisa's arms. And Trinidad-born Sharice getting some expert coaching from Steve McNeil. <laughs> and Steve knows a lot about skating. He'll be doing 19 hours and 26 minutes of non-stop skating here at City Hall over the weekend. My mother was born December 15, 1926. And she battled Alzheimer's for the better part of 20 years. So eight years ago here at Nathan Phillips Square in Toronto, I came out as a dedication to my mother. Last February, his efforts got a big boost when Rockers ACDC donated $19,260 to his campaign. Band member Malcolm Young died in 2017 from complications related to dementia. McNeil, who listens to ACDC music to keep himself energized doing his marathon skates, happened to meet the son of ACDC drummer Chris Slade during one of his events. His campaign has drawn support from the Toronto Memory Program, which does research into the treatment and diagnosis of Alzheimer's. We know that lifestyle, brain healthy lifestyle strategies can reduce the risk of dementia in healthy people by about 30 percent. Sports physician Dr. Ian Cohen says aerobic exercise is believed to be the best. That would be cardio, um, walking is perfectly fine, doing regular exercise classes, but it doesn't have to be exercise, it can be physical activity. It's vacuuming, gardening, doing chores that continually uh, keep your heart rate a little bit elevated. And the guidelines suggest that 30 minutes a day for five days a week is the, the goal. McNeil will be doing quite a bit more than that this weekend. And he's asking people to donate $19.26 to Alzheimer's Research. 1926skate.com. And the link is on there. It goes directly to Alzheimer's Toronto. But if you want to join Steve here at Nathan Phillips Square, come out on Saturday at midnight. Mayor Tory is expected to join him Sunday morning. Pauline Chan, CTV News. More now on the.